Here we go. Here comes the hit from Liquid. They're going to go ahead and try to get out middle, and it looks like they've done it with success. Four deep. Leaving just that of Naf to do whatever griminess he can conjure up there in the tunnels. And so far, not good. Taco. Makes mince meat out of Naf. Ball and doing what he has to do as well to keep this site in the balance. Keep this site in control. Taco able to reverse around, go back through the tunnels and help him out. And that's an absolute shutout of the B site by MIBR. Oh, Nitro does get rid of Taco. Now, still three players to find on the other side. And they can just break these gunfights down into one big explosive push. Or at least uh -oh. that's what they were hoping. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. First falling in to the Demon's Cage. Nitro still trying to fight. But they do overwhelm him. They go up and over. Is what we're looking for here from the side of MIBR. Defense as their CT oh, side. Okay. I was wondering okay. where you were going right. to take Guys, that. come Ooh. on. This is a well, look, family man, show. If anything's to go by, fallen has been getting his out and just uh, laying it. Out into the server, but Stewie and Nitro doubling down with the Deagles in this round. Fur and KNG on the receiving end, but here is a man who will get you inspired. Fallen is looking over towards the catwalk, and that is where Liquid are looking to arrive. Nitro down here in the lower tunnels, and he's waiting patiently for Taco. However, it's Taco to win the engagement, and that's a bit of pressure removed for MIBR because now they're pretty safe in the assumption that it's not going to be B, and that solidifies in their mind that this two-man stack at the A site is the right decision indeed. Fallen doing a lot of damage with this scout. Oh. He's tagged everybody bar Elige. However, oh, yes. Elige, the one man who wasn't tagged up with damage, has responded with a double of his own, and now this leaves Taco in the hot seat. This is a lot of work to do for just one MP9. And he's not able to rise to the occasion. It's three for a liege as Team Liquid put their first on the board. And with that glass cannon orb on two players, it does leave you in a bit of a trouble, especially if Team Liquid were to head towards B. But that doesn't look to be the decision here. The reason I say that is because you don't want a glass cannon orb in the retake. A regular orb with armor behind Ooh. it is bad enough. So, Ooh. Fallen here, gonna take that mm. peek. And he actually wins it over Stewie in the head-to-head. -head. Boosted up to get the kill. MIBR sat with a two-man advantage into this first rifle round. Team Liquid have not been able to recuperate these lost men. 30 seconds. Liquid just going to commit to B. KNG with a solo orb here. He's got no armor. A single bullet could send his aim packing. And, well, multiple will send him dead. Liquid have the B bomb site under their control. And this is where the retake might be difficult for MIBR. No kit. No utility. Fallen on, still on glass cannon. And, you know, they may have the man advantage. But that's the only positive to take away. Lower control taken. And Taka with a huge kill onto Nav will open up the chances here for MIBR. Ooh. Given a chance, but it's not more than that. And he's not able to find anything. Dink through the door as well. Oh, Elise eats that nade, and KNG will delete him through the doors. Or like maybe a cat play. You know, you, you can go mid to B with one smoke, but it's not perfect. It's not everything you need. And in this round, doesn't even matter. They don't even survive the journey through the mid doors. It's just a complete and utter mop up here for MIBR. And I think, you know, if you start to have three players who can consistently turn out numbers for MIBR, that is how they start to become a more consistent powerhouse again. Oh, they earn almost finding the, the kill there on the twist, but... Oof. Orp is ready. Smoke's coming through. The flashes should render him useless for a short period of time. And he's going to go back in for the fight. Missed shot, but Fallen does find one. First, Stalin on the site. Can't get further. Stewie decks him. And a tag on the Stewie from Fallen. Won't finish the job. He's going to try and back off on 10 points of health, but he won't get much further than the graveyard. Naff in a one on two. And he's found a second. Bomb dropped on the site. Plenty of time. Taco up cat. Naff's got the info. He's got the spot. And he's got the shot to find Liquid 4. Right. Something that's scary is this looked like it was going to be an A split in the beginning of the round, but with that bomb still in lower tunnels, it's going to be one of these <laughs> CT drops. Well then. Fallen hits a mid-air and yeah. craters. That's a bit saddening. However, the thing I was going to say is if these B-site players don't get so much as a kill, really, and I, I feel like even then you're looking for a bit more, it gets problematic. That's not going to be a problem just yet, though, as they hold the Whoa. line at B. Taco putting up a double fur with one. Nice, dude. Oh, like, Dewey oh, takes the dear. molly to the dome. What? That looked like it was dead on. But... I, I think it was movement that got yeah. in there. Unfortunate for the man. Because it did look like that was the avenue to securing long. However, it's just not going to be the case, is it? 
Yeah, nothing worse than the delayed peek, right? He hangs around in front of that Molotov, really looking for a kill. The second he unscopes, that's when they appear. But it do be like that, Trace. Snap gets the orb and gets out of long. Uh, they are avoiding that side of the map. Falling up on Catwalk, they're going to molly him off. But he still hits a shot. They peek with the Molotov, and you usually want to wait till after it. If you're truly looking to force a player off rather than take that fight. And... Now they're being flanked as well. The info has been transpired. Fur is coming in on behind. They have to commit here or they're walking back into a trap. Well, here we go. Furry Russell. Let's take a look and see exactly what Nath can do behind this smoke. Yeah, he just got tagged on that boost. He goes back and into the arms of Fur. Nitro, where do you even want to look, man? <laughs> they are everywhere. As close to the middle as we can get. Right down the middle, and that's where Liquid have found themselves in this round, running the gauntlet as they get to the Xbox within seconds. Fur is being no, or not quiet about how he is up on Catwalk. And I've just gone back to check the long push as well. I think that's one big detail with the second smoke now coming into tunnels. Liquid know that, okay, MIBR can read this. They, they, they should have the idea that Liquid are in tunnels, so they might not want to just commit straight up into what could be a stacked bomb site, but they go back into the angle that is credited Fallen with a kill almost every single round. It's always hanging around on this short position. And Liquid, if they go again into this double AWP, it could get messy once more. Yeah, let's see. Fallen. Oh, not quite, not quite, but he's got a second chance now. Not going to get many more chances Ooh. in this round. You imagine there's KNG to snuff out Twist. Fallen does get bested in the head-to-head -head by Stewie. Bomb plant for Catwalk. KNG delivers another kill onto Nitro. Naf and Stewie 2K in a 2 on 3 to keep this one in favor of Team Liquid. Stewie going to play back in the site. Naf mm. and Catwalk. And Naf gets deleted. The bomb was planted for him. He was meant to be the fail safe. Ooh. Stewie catches him out in the air <laughs> and is almost ready to deal with Taco. But thankfully, the trade uh. comes in. MIBR, they've solidified a 7 to 8 first half. They might be our, they're returning the favor. They're going to climb back up the Xbox to cap day one. Flash is following. It does put them in this position. Taco first blood gets traded on long, and now everyone else at the cat walked away. Yeah, Flash goes high. Stewie and Ali is going to try and hold the line here. Rotations are already coming in from Team Liquid, and Nitro deals with Fallen from down in CT. He does get dropped in response, wow. and all the frags... I was going to say we're coming up in favor of Team Liquid, but Elise back at long, making a good case for this USP, has brought it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Maya is going to try and run for the hills over towards this B site. Elise, he saw him deep dive into CT. And he does have the read that this is going to be that B commitment on the back of it. Switches out for a USP with more ammo. Now looks for Maya. Me oh, he missed the cross. Oh, yeah, he just missed the timing on that. Might not know now that he's left the bomb site. That could be bad for Elise. He does have this kit, so he's got a bit of extra time to work with. Five extra seconds. Oh, dear. Maya, oh. yeah, in the tunnels. Elise oh, turns around. Oh, oh no, Maya no. missed it. Elise with the 180. And the defuse comes in at Team Liquid. They'll nab that pistol around right from under Myern's nose. Nine to seven. Yeah, they've got enough utility though to go for this mid to right? And this is a lot of pressure on the two players at the B bomb site now. Nap and Nitro have got to answer for a hell of a lot. And they don't really have the equipment to get the job done now. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Nap's got to do a lot here. And he only delivers one. Does get a dink off onto KNG. But for Twist and Elise, this is not a round that Liquid wanted to give over. However, it's likely too far gone for these two to even attempt it. There's a world where maybe if they deal with Fur in mid, they give it a go. But even then, yeah, they're not going to. They just back out. Yeah. Continuing to get battered with these flashes off of the angle. And now the bomb planted. It's a five-on-five five retake here for Team Liquid. This is certainly not ideal, not standard. And you've still got Fur floating around over here in top mid. There's a player at long, and they just cleared all the way up into top mid, or at least they thought, but... He goes undetected, wow. and all the kills have come in for MIBR. Twist is put in the ground by Maya, and MIBR take the lead 11 to 10. Boost up on the A site as well. Check that out. Twist has quite the ang. Oh! That was filth. Five on three, though, MIBR. Yep. This is not where they want to be. 
kind of what we discussed. Lose to them pistols. It's not going to feel good. But check that out. Doubled up in goose. Twist falls, but it's going to leave Nap there to do what he does best. Let's just see how awkward he can make it. Suit decay over there on the ramp. They're going to try to pinch in on oh this my. pretty quick. He leaves on a fast plank. The bomb down. He also what? finds all the kills. We didn't see him, but that's okay. He's going to flash out from Goose. They know this hit's on. They're getting a lot of hits over here from the side of Catwalk. And well, at least mows them down. Makes it look easy, too. Yeah, I love that flash. It goes through the palm tree, and a T can't see it coming up. The Catwalk it is uh, shrouded, hidden by the leaves in the tree. Coconuts are good for something after all. Fallen. Oh, he is going to get taken down. Yorp falling and the save coming through for Fur. And so MIBR, they, they try it, but the flashes are there for Nitro and Naf capitalizes. MIBR's map pick and maybe about to slip away from their hand. The lead just pushed mid again. He's in lower. This man just does not stop in the back line, in the front line, in your nightmares. He's there. KNG is gone from the server. Myth himself. We talk about mythical creatures and he certainly put up quite a performance here. Nath is going to be tucked in the quad with the AWP, and they're going to force a fight from the Liquid side over on the catwalk. Nitro dumping a Molotov in. Now, this is going to be an interesting situation because it's a bit of a stalemate. And the longer that that stays, Liege can continue to disrupt the back lines. Now he's got full advantage here on long, but Ooh. Taco hitting two nasty deagles. <gasps> oh, no, uh, Maya! He hasn't uh, checked! This is a blunder and a half for the side of Liquid. Everything really did fall apart. The what? wheels fell off of the bus. Dewey over here looking to hold down the line. Nah, don't actually know where that was through. It was over in the tunnels. He just shot him through the walls. No. So totally cool, totally fine. Everything's under control. MIBR, they're a man down though. And at this juncture in the game, that's not what you want to happen, especially not Taco. He's been looking real good in this series thus far. Fallen creeping on out in towards mid. The rest of the team ready to explode behind him. Nap in the window, trying Ooh. to hold the line. Maya faces the full brunt of Nap. Ooh, Ooh, wow. another one for Nap fly. Now, in the back of the site, it's Stewie actually to lock it all down from the rotation. Team Liquid, they take us to the map pick of MIBR. Here I am, no, I'm yes. Byron. Yes. Well, Harry, it was once that you described his body as what exactly? I don't know. I don't even know where this one's going. Temple? Wow. Right, I'm getting very self-conscious, and I'm going to have to ask you to uh, <laughs> leave the studio. It's oh, time no. to stop as the Liege and company yeah. continue their tear. Fallen has done just that, and now Liquid are going to try to brute force out into this A-bomb site. Mirror fighting from the pit, not good for any. It's, oh, no, his armor's still full. So I guess it was full damage falling out the pit, and everyone could upgrade. That's a nice feeling for Liquid, and it's certainly even better with a pistol round in their pocket. Stewie's got no armor, nothing to lose, everything to gain, but... Well, he's got that to lose, his life. Fur uh, finds a shot. Liquid find the pistol. Yep, here it is. Smoke's out. Nitro leading the pack. He's going to run around that Molotov. Going to run around that smoke. Completely wrap on the site. Mayern is aware of it. Even though that takes his crosshair far away, it doesn't matter. Stu 2 k and Twist are cleaning things up. Nitro left off. Mayern's still alive in this site, though. They need to deal with him. He finds one. Looks for a second. Can't seem to do it. And it's Naf. Who has the answer? Stewie set up in a real sweaty position here for the post plan. Fallen all too aware. Yeah, the one click. You love to see that. Twist can set his teammate up for fights with this flashbang, and he's going to go in for it as well. They're both flying. Twist with great utility, and he doesn't need to repeat as well. Don't give Fallen the way back into this round. There's still so much time on that bomb, even without the kit. And Fallen is being wrapped from the site. Twist will finish off the job above the smoke. Oh, he's got Taco by him. Oh, I told you guys. Quid. They weren't ready for that. Taco delivers a double. 20 seconds. And Twist is just left to sell the lurk. So they're putting faith in Naf and Nitro to win these fights and actually get this bomb planted. Now, if this was a 2v1, that would feel fine. But here at the B site, there's two players from IBR. The bomb's dropped. The round is lost. And Twist is in no man's land. All he can do is hold on to this AK. Maybe look to take a couple of players down at the end of the round, but yeah, that doesn't happen. MIBR, they'll get their first on the board. Surprise. But KNG's the man with utility, so it might more likely have to be Ooh. him trying to set the rest of the team up inside of the site, especially now as he's been forced back off of the angle. Three players getting past the arches and now into this A site. Taco will deliver one kill and now tuck himself away, trying to have this crossfire with Mayan. 
It's good for another, but that is it. Bomb plant can be found here for Team Liquid, but a three on three with low HP on a leash. This is not a done deal just yet. Yeah, that was so close. Taku does a good job of stalling there. The time was real low for Liquid as they get the plant, and that could have been time ending the round for them. Instead, it's a leash. Wall banged out from behind the boxes by the AWP of KNG, and Nath just looks to take him down. Nath wants okay. to fight him in his face, what gets a, a kill, man. and leaves it in a two on two. A winnable round for Liquid, and they've got it as well. Fallen is the only man left up being loud on the long corner. Trying to find a shot, trying to find any engagement. The Liquid is just playing with it. Okay. Fallen takes a bite, and he will say goodnight. Two kills in the retake, and MIBR back on the board. Fallen kind of owes it to Twist there for giving him a bit of leeway into that round. Still, fantastic shots landed from Fallen, you know, not to take anything away from the actual marksmanship itself. And even then, you know, once he dealt with Twist, he still had to win the 1v1. Yeah. So Fallen does a great job, but also Liquid somewhat give them a path into that round there. KNG ahead of the smoke as well. They're about to hit middle, and he could get very flashed out from this position, but he luckily has support. Mayan with one from under the balcony. Taco joins him, and now the three-pronged attack. KNG is blinded. Will fail. Naf trading onto Mayan is going to stay alive with the bomb, most importantly. And they set their sights towards long. KNG's on the corner, but take a look at Fur. He's found himself in CT. Ready to cover this cross, and Kenji can peek off the back of that with a flash. Nice shot from Naf. Okay. 13 and 2, this man. What a champion. One more in the pit. Kenji actually has no more impact into this round for the time being. He's caught up for Fur, rather. He's cut off on long. They've isolated the fights well. They've smoked things off, and this two on five might be a reality for Liquid. Yeah, that's going to sting a little bit if they do pull this one off. It might be R will be. Feeling that one in the morning. Here we go. Fallen coming in from the porch. He's not alone. Fur very low, but also there with him. Smoke flash. Both with kits. Fur with a trade after Nitro finds Fallen. Now 1v1. Nap and Fur. Nap on about half HP. And Fur really just investigating the site, trying to find out where he's hiding. He's going to go for a big peek. Oh, and, well, it was just a little bit overzealous. But uh, he found him all right. Nap wins the round. Early smoke on B is an attempt to force utility. It's actually a really good smoke. It blocks off the view from new box, from oranges, limits positions. You can fight from the site. You can still stay alive there, of course, but Liquid are just looking to isolate players one by one. Good mollies in and out. KNG with the first, Fur follows up, but Liquid have taken the bomb back towards A, and they force so oh, many rotations man. here while doing so. They don't cut off uh, Taco here, who's got to be very loud on his rotation. They should hear this, but he gets ahead of time. Oh, the miss spray, Allegiant won. The trade is imminent, and Nap has to do it all on his own. A player inside of the site, been spotted. Nap has a chance, and he's got two more to find. Oh, man, the time was an issue. Now it's no factor. We see the plant. Naf, can he do it? Can he secure an eight? He's going to be holding. Finds the first one on the fur. And now he's going to try to buy himself some time. Let that bomb tick down a little bit. KNG on the AWP. Ooh. Naf likely knows this. A lot of noise being made. Nice. And there you have it. The sloth strikes again. An eighth round on the board for Liquid. Fast up B through the Molotov. They've smoked it. Stewie again. Hero play through the smoke. But he's not ready for fur on the corner. It's a slaughter. Oh it's a massacre. And it's fur with three. Now, can he keep the streak alive? No, he's dead. Finally, as Elise is left in a one on four. Don't count him out. Don't oh, count maybe we count him out right yeah. now. Ooh, KNG is so close. But yes, yeah, so far, the Molly's coming down. Banana Liquid have to use their. Utility to get rid of that. Nitro even gets wall banged at the top of B. Through the half wall with a grenade. Rather unfortunate turn of events. KNG almost Ooh. able to line up a shot, but Elise is quicker on that trigger. Next thing you know, Fallen's pushing with an M4 silence. And this is all a furious pace here going on inside of the <laughs> site for wrapping up the round and wrapping up the half of the 3K. And this is Twist pushing middle. Yeah, no one's even seen this as well. MIBR are very tucked on the ramp, and they've just missed the timing twist on that flank. Great shot in the mid-air player, but there's more where that came from, too, oh. as they fight with the Glock's tooth and nail. The lead and wants to cut down the bomb, and he has done so, but dinked in the process really means he needs to give it back up, and he won't have a choice. Fur takes his life away. We have Nitro, who's set up camp inside of this side of the site. Now let's see what he's got under his sleeve. He's going to get found out, discovered KNG just hopping around. He kills. Flash. Oh, that's a day drive. They're going to peek with it. Oh, dear. Oh, Lord. Blocks at all about. Yeah, Stewie can't hide <laughs> behind that pole for long. 
Yeah, I like how slow MIBR are playing it as well. It's like a very methodical T side in these early stages. So if that keeps up, well, it could keep up for them. But right now, Taco drops out of the apartment. A lot of typing coming yeah, in here. I'm wondering. A whole lot of typing. We're going to find out. Perhaps we can get some more detectives on it. In the meantime, Nitro dumping a grenade. He's going to take the fight right here to MIBR. He cannot be alone. Elige stopping the Hall's aggression. Leaves Elige and Stewie. Well, we really have made this one hurt for MIBR. Liquid putting a much needed round on the board in this map. Smokes and Flash is going to go in towards the B site and a much faster play here from MIBR than of late. They leave CT open. Ooh, lots of damage through the choke point. They'll cross at the smoke Ooh. point, but Nitro gets away with another. Bomb plant now found for MIBR. KNG delivers one. Maya and him with another. So he's blinking. You missed it. Three on three now. MIBR looking solid in this post plant. Molly going deep in the new box. KNG avoids it fine. He should have the drop of the first player here, and he does. That's a, surely the round. Even with the trade from Naft, the bomb is so far ticked, and no one's even tapped oh. it. They're going to get on it. It's too little. It's too late. Fallen's got the shot, and even if he doesn't, Glock will do the job. Just hold down this rap side. Meanwhile, it's Elise fighting through the flames, behind the flames. And as he falls, he's only able to get for one. Twist here, trying to pick up some of that slack. And so is. far, so good. Nitro transitions back into the site, creates a little bit of chaos here. They can't focus on the two players at once. And with the timer expiring, well, guess what? Just fur. And he's going to save that AK into the next round. Like, yeah. that is nuts. Why don't you go a little further with that, right? You, you start to think about, you know... That head-to-head -head and opening duels, we're talking 17-6. Crazy stuff. And meanwhile, trying to hold on to the site, Stewie's UK with AWP. Not good enough to do that, but Naf and that characteristic sloth-like behavior will be a little bit later. But he is here. Oh, I like this smoke on the molly as well. He predicted it ahead of time. The molly comes in. He goes wide, but he can't find a kill. Only damage to KNG. Luckily, Elite should be able to finish the job with him being low, swinging, and giving the bomb, delivering it to Liquid in this round. Elite has to get the reload off, but where he can fall off, Twist can fall in. They will give the plant away, but they're going to swing off the back of it. Twist trading again. Elige getting blocked on his teammate, but it doesn't matter as long as the results are here, and they are for now. Taco, he has been the you know, bastion of hope in this series for MIBR. The one man who makes it happen, can he do so in the one-on-two? Yeah, he elects to go for the fake plant there and tries to find himself a one-on-one. -on -one. Not going to get it now. He sticks the plant, but they're coming in from behind. They're already there. Knock, knock, Taco. Who's that? It's Twist with the AK. Brrah. All of these rounds that they've been able to put together to be in vain, they need this 14th more than ever. Yeah, and here and now, they can't al uh, allow fi Liquid to get 15 because then they're going to get broken, Harry. They've been riding the high of this money situation for a while now, but it's finally come to a close. Nothing left in the bank accounts. And Elige, oh dear, look at the confidence, Liquid, something's just turned on, something's just come alive, because they are forcing fights all over the map. I'm going to go for a boost here, Mayern on top, but there's not going to be anyone there in his line of sight. Yeah, this is still nice, though, because it's some information for MIBR, right? They've cleared the coffins, they cleared dark, so that's really narrowed down where these players can be. Stewie, though, doesn't care if they know where he lies. In fact, he kind of likes the challenge. Mayan starting to try close the distance. Meanwhile, KNG does drop one over towards top mid, but that is a consolation frag, if anything. You don't just need a bag of tricks. You need, like, multiple suitcases of tricks here. And uh, Naf is a bit of a magician himself. He's still got a rabbit in the hat as he does shut down the boost there. There is a man watching it in oh, the form no. of fur, but he has just turned away. A liege can come in on this wraparound and Boosting. could do so much damage. Fur gets caught. There's still two players at long and that smoke fades. Taco will get the kill. A CT wrap is now made available. The A site is actually empty, but okay. the bomb drops in through the archway and this should be done. Mayern 1v4 bombing enemy, enemy territory. He doesn't know where everyone lies. He doesn't even know this a site is pretty much clear. They've got no info to go off of. Mayan is navigating this one before blind. And Nitro holds the line. Team Liquid, they take this one 2 0, 16 to 13 here on Inferno. It gets close, but no cigar for MIBR.